Hello and welcome to the Universal Law Community Trust Minister M. Venn training. I am Minister M. Venn and I hold the rights of use and the assignment of consent of the legal fiction of the creditors who have now retired from crediting the accounts which are created in the capitalised version of the given name. Now, most people will be aware who are watching this video that the incorporation of the given name into the surname and the capitalisation of it thereof would imply that you have consented to, by using it, uh, to the Crown Corporation and all of its legislation that it decides to write. Now, that in fact is fraud. You are all committing fraud when you use that legal fiction. Obviously we've been encouraged to do that, but if we're to examine the things that we've been encouraged to do, such as, for example, take out the birth certificate. Now, if this has been issued from Crown Corporation, you'll see at the bottom that there is a Crown copyright uh, symbol at the bottom. The document is inside a box and in accordance with Chicago styles and syntax error fraud, anything inside a box is exempt from the document. So when you place your name inside a box it, uh, and then anything that's written in relation to that document, it means that the uh, non-entity is uh, not included in the body of the document. So by helping people understand what it is that uh, they've actually been doing, you have got a choice now as to whether you continue to be a creditor of a system that operates a slavery system en masse, or whether you have reached legal majority and can no longer be considered therefore a legal minor. How do you do this in practical terms? And what is Minister Mouven? So when somebody stops you and asks you, who are you? Nobody can actually say that with any truth uh, and any evidence as to who they are. The documentation that we're all so familiar with pulling out of our pockets or bags and brandishing uh, universally, uh, making the claim that this is me. Um, being your ID, your TAF 22 if you're in Greece, your ID card in Europe, your passport, driving licence if you're in the UK. Now, because you have just claimed something that technically isn't yours, you've stepped from being in alignment with all of your rights and in uh, completeness with your divine trust, which is between you and the Creator. So what you have actually done is assigned your consent to be part of a corporation and subject therefore to their acts and statutes and commercial code. Now when you uh, realise that this is what you've been encouraged to do using a document that clearly states not to be used for ID and then going and getting a passport with that document or another form of ID or opening a bank account and then obviously using that ID that you've created for creating more contracts with it will perpetually perpetuate fraud and we're obviously being encouraged to do so now the way that the consent that you are implied to grant it comes through the use of the name, the use of that legal fiction. Under the, uh, the Theft Act, you can see the definition of attempted theft is the right, is the claim of right of something belonging to another. So if you come along and you claim that your company name or your business is Adidas or Volkswagen or McDonald's, um, then obviously you would be committing uh, intellectual property infringement and copyright theft because that's already a branded logo. Now, your uh, what you would consider your your name, your title to be uh, the prefix with Mr, Miss, Mrs or Ms um, stands for miser. It means debt slave. 
and the uh, abbreviation of Mr. Ms. Miss or Ms. can also be, if we decided to, be an abbreviative, an abbreviation of minister. So you are really ministering an account that you didn't even know that you uh, had created uh, on your behalf through your parents assigning you into the Crown Corporation or its uh, universal equivalent in whichever country, state you, you reside in or were born in. So the uh, documentation that you've been using uh, it, it in fact represents uh, your share of the planet and its resources divvied up into tiny little segments and put on the stock exchange to be used for commercial activity that was supposed to then stand surety to all of your liabilities of having to exist in a, in a reality that um, allowed commercialism and capitalism to exist. So um, obviously what is happening is those accounts are being laundered without your knowledge and every time you give consent to bring, bringing life to something that's I've got no more life to it than a piece of paper, um, you are crediting that name. So when you assign your consent, you are assigning your consent to yourself back away from the system that might like to imply that you've just given it to them and you are then granting yourself back the right of use of all of the equity that was once crediting those accounts for you to minister and invest your energy therefore in a way that is not detrimental or causing harm because at the moment obviously all of our accounts are being used to commit uh, through uh, uh, various forms of terrorism and tyranny with. So by you stepping out of that role of a debt slave um, or with that capitalised version of the given name, you are removing your consent um, and rebutting the presumption that it's been given. Now for them, uh, for the those that would like to imply that you belong to them, it, it's a uh, uh, for when you come along and you actually give uh, physically and, and visually uh, the assignment of consent to another, then there is absolutely no uh, misinterpretation of anything that has been written down. So we would recommend that you, if you go and you follow these processes that we've done the steps for you for, to, and with very great success, I might add, that you uh, are going as the as either minister of then if you feel confident enough about doing that or you can uh, visually assign your consent to somebody who will act in the role as minister of then on your behalf once you've assigned your consent away from the crown corporation and you stop funding them obviously if this is completely pointless if you're going to go and assign your consent back into your own trust that you're the trustee of inside a trust that you are the executor of a series of trusts which is your community trust and then into universal law community trust so it's a trust within a trust within a trust which you are the trustee the executor and the beneficiaries thereof which is really the trust that the uh, Pope Boniface so Boniface was supposed to have uh, created for us all to all of the Christians were to be the beneficiaries of the earth which was uh, supposedly assigned by God onto the Catholic Church. So this is why uh, I'm dressed like this. This is not my usual uh, garb um, but this is to rebut the presumption that's being made about the ecclesiastical standing that your soul has already been claimed as salvage uh, through the baptism or the christening and uh, therefore your soul has been salvaged by one particular religion or another. Now because the way that the structure of legal systems works 
The ecclesiastical standing um, is the kind of the pinnacle of the division of where it all we became divided from our uh, universal source self by agreeing to be something other than what we were and we don't really know what it is that we are so if we go to a point where we can say right well actually i don't know what i am i've become indefinable so when somebody stops you and says who are you you don't decide define yourself any longer as the id of the legal fiction you have your own legal fiction which is ministerium of n a ministerium of n is your legal uh representative if you like your token in this game now that you completely control that you know the that first of all that you had some consent and that you could assign it that it was being implied and being abused uh, by a system that you've got the opportunities to rebut so by going if you feel confident enough by going into the court and stating that i am minister Mavan, that i hold all of the assignment of consent in this matter and i hold the authority to act which means that therefore i need to ask you where is yours because i have it all here it's not like well who are you well i was i was the creditor of that account now retired you're taking all your roles back and putting yourself back together into the powerful uh, thing it's an indefinable thing that you truly are uh, without anybody kind of usurping you in your roles you don't need a lawyer you don't need an accountant you don't need a, uh, a doctor you uh, definitely don't need the tax office um, and you are in your uh, private state of being so you are stateless you haven't got a contract with anything other than the creator whatever that is and you are a uh, part of and in universal law so when we walk into the court we say all oh, stand for universal law so that the people who are there to support you something about that